Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Introducing the challenger, Jumbo. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. For the championship, you can do it with the best. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. is palpable as this fight gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side and this other guy who can really do it. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the show. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a nice straight there by Lee. Combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Out of range with that kick attempt. Up. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice kick. Lakey. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Left hand counter there. in our opening round. Punch is blocked. And they set. That was a nice strike. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Right hand upstairs. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything come. Big head kick lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big body kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Liver Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. Overhand block there by Lee. Oh, massive overhand land. Just missing on the high kick there. Punch over the top. Ooh, what a head kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. He lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always breaks his hands right back to his face. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round. All right, let's get to the replays from that previous round, and you got to think they plucked that flying knee, huh? Oh, it was beautiful. It was great to see someone be this free in the octagon. See an opening, take anything that shows itself. That flying knee was perfectly timed and landed beautifully. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, and he caught the kick. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just 
business with the left there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Nice leg kick land. Try to establish that jab. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. Okay. Big kick land. Stay strong. You got this. Okay? You got it. Nice job of hiding that head kick. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from enough. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And they separate. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Diggy kick. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Get the turtle in that kick. Still nice body kick lands. Nice punch here. to these big leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice defense there, huge block. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. You certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Right on the button. Can't take many of those, you better check. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, and he caught the kick. Boy, Ty Plump. Leg kick. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Oh. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that 
as the fight goes on. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining Three, rounds. We'll see how Three. it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. He blocks the shot. Nice body to run under the elbow. Gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Great punch landed with so much power. <laughs> Lee's head kick and tap, that one is blocked. Pretty good right hand. Hard shots landing on both sides here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Real sneaky body kick. Good punch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Beautiful body kick. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Slips the punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He throws the right hand there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Sneaky head kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick land. Got clipped with the right hand. Powerful leg kick lands. Good defense to block the strike coming back. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be. Do it with ill intent. 20 seconds left. All right, relax for me, bud. Good. Doing fine. Stay relaxed. Missed with that attempt. 
Final seconds of round three. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee is so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fight. No, John. <laughs> John, John, listen. No, John. No. <laughs> Throw a flying okay. Effective punch there by Lee. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Nice shot to the body there. Look at him drive his shins into the opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Kick to the body by him. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, Ooh wee, what a right hand by this young man. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice kick. Back and forth we go here. He blocks the punch. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Punch by Lee. Big leg kick land. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class hands up, chin down. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Straight punch land. Nice body kick. Way to hide that leg kick. All oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. How good is that right hand? Head kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Big knee to the body. Big kick lands. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Big punch land. Ooh. Straight right hand, no good. What a tricky head kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he 
throws that kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Inside leg kick is there. kicks here, but just out of range. Ten seconds to go in the round. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful oh, kick God. landed by this man. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. Beautiful, straight counter. How about that chin? Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Unable to land with that punch. Big, straight left. Lands the left hand again. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Right under the elbow. Beautiful kick. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Three minutes now to go in this one. Real quick leg kick. And they separate. Just missed with that right hand. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. That was a stunning leg kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. What a body Back kick. and forth we go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Lands the right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing this strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, 
single collar tie now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Beautiful body. Line. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, huge punch! His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Big body kick land. Good punch land. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. I don't want to steal Bruce Buffer's thunder because he doesn't like that, but and new UFC champion of the world you're looking at. Yeah, he's the new champion. No matter how you want to look at it, he did enough to take the belt off the champion. He used his striking, his footwork, his beautiful movement in order to confuse the champion over the course of five rounds. He did enough. It's time to strap the belt around his waist. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you, right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout